This is April Flowers with Fabutainment, and you know, I am here at the 38th Annual Stella Gospel Awards, and I have my girl here, Layla Tarane, and hun, she's a songbird for <laughs> Jesus, a songbird for, for Jesus and inspirational music. Heard you have a new single out, tell us all about it. Yes, so I have a brand new single called I'll Make It With You. It was just released April of this year. And it's a nice little bop. I'm normally a worship leader, but mm. this is like taking me out of my comfort zone. And that's one mm. thing that I love about this song, too. So Okay, because as a worship leader, uh, you see it as more of a kind of a slow and, and with a church service. Yeah, and between that and then like they do like prophetic flows and stuff like okay. that. So that's normally my speed. Uh -huh. But this, you know, is a different route, oh. you know, so. So I maybe... Like this with it? Yeah. Oh, a little bit. Windows roll down. Oh, whoa. Drop top down. Whoa. Yeah, all that. Get it, get it, <laughs> get it. shining, everything. Get it, get it. Love it. Well, and as uh, gospel music is changing, mm -hmm. sometimes the bop comes in. How do you feel about that versus traditional gospel? As far as like the changes yeah. and everything? Mm -hmm. Um. One thing that I will say, like, it definitely keeps me um, uh -huh. as a new artist on my P's and Q's okay. because, like, everything is always changing. Just like with the algorithms with social media, uh. it's the same thing with music. And, Girl. you know, you have to, like, really keep up with everything. You and, do. Yeah. Make sure you stay relevant. That's the key. That big R yeah. <laughs> word is important. But, honey, when we're speaking about the Lord and Jesus, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's the relevancy. Mm -hmm. what, what message did you drop down in that song? Your recent single. So, um, I'll Make It With You is centered around that everything that we go through in life, we're only able to make it through with the help and strength of Jesus. Um, just real quick, like I had attempted to commit suicide three times, oh, okay. and this was right before I pursued my wow. solo career. Mm -hmm. And it was from those experiences mm -hmm. that I realized, like, okay, I can't do this in my own strength. Mm -hmm. I can't even just go to therapy only, yeah. but I also have to rely on the strength of God as well. So wow. um, whatever situations that you're going through in life, God's right. going to carry you through them. Yeah. And he always comes through. It's guaranteed. Guaranteed. Woo! I don't know if anybody felt that vibe of the testimony right there. Look at you. Look at you. So you you make your music. It speaks to you, but it's speaking to the world. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's, a, it's a far change from being a background vocalist oh to being goodness. in the center. So tell, yeah, let oh me know goodness. about that. It is completely different. Like, And I thought that it was going to be some kind of similarities because... Yeah. Um, as I told you before, I've been at BGB for over 15 years, yeah. but being in the spotlight, in yeah. the forefront as an uh -huh. artist is uh -huh. completely different. There's different avenues, different, um, different. Uh, it's a different mentality you have yeah. to have yeah. because like me, with being a BGV, you know, I'm used to just being in the background, right. like hanging in the back or whatever, but yeah. like as an artist, you have to have the mindset to like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna kill this, you know, and then like, even just something as simple as ad libs. Oh, at in the studio, like when huh? I tell you, it's a different vibe. Like laying vocals down for a background singer and as an artist, and that I, I'm gonna honestly be transparent, and be like, that's honestly one one of the things that I'm working on okay. <laughs> as a new artist, because you have to really exude a level of confidence, and that's yes. what I'm definitely learning for sure. Right? Yeah, because you're carrying it, and then the sprinkling in of the background vocalists mm -hmm. and then those ad libs are so important like yeah. they're, they're like schmoozing the song like give it cuz you know people people remember those ad libs mm -hmm. <laughs> what's your one of your favorite ad libs in your song Mm. <laughs> Do you have? Because I, I always oh. catch on people's ad libs. Because it's important. It's that part of the song that's not written, but just happened. Mm -hmm. So one one of my favorite parts, uh, like the singers, they come in and say, "Whenever my world is shaken, whenever uh -huh. I'm feeling down." Uh -huh. So I kind of like play along with that, oh. and, and I like kind of have them echo me with Ooh, that. Okay. So it's, and it gives like a little like that bop feel that oh. I was telling you. So hey, yeah. Get it. I, I, I. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it is refreshing. You have your white on, you're refreshed, you, you are dropping that music. 
keep it going. Thank you. Keep your light shining. Yes, ma'am. Because it's supposed to shine. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and I'm April Flowers with Fabutainment, and we just spoke to my girl, Layla. And hey, check her single out. Tell yes, and the name of my single is I'll Make It With You. It's available on all digital outlets. And then you can follow me on Instagram at I am Layla Tarane, L E I L A T A R A N E H, for those that need the spelling. <laughs> Bam! So we're going to ad-lib out of here, but honey, she's great. <laughs> Check her out. Thank you so much for joining us at Fabutainment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>